everyone, I'm the Solar Gamer, and welcome back to Civilization V Gods and Kings as America. Now, I have a little bit of bad news. I did play a full session, and then I noticed that my microphone was off. So, when I tried to um, go back to an autosave, the only autosave was three turns ahead of where I was last game. And sadly, three turns. There is only one good knowledge, and one evil ignorance. Yes, thanks for cutting me off. Um, three turns is, you get a lot done in three turns. So, I'm sorry about that. Let me just briefly explain to you what happened. Okay, so not much on the home front. We're just building some things here. Now, we were planning last game to come over here, see if there was a good place to settle. But, uh, we met Marrakesh, and those hopes and dreams kind of fell. <laughs> so, we do not have a city location over here. Maybe we'll settle right there if we can get over there quick enough. But as of right now, we don't really have a place. Another thing, we met Denmark. He's over here on a continent that looks like it's connected to uh, the Mayans. He'll die. He's wearing a dead animal, which is very family friendly, I would think. So yeah, not much happened, but it is just enough that, you know, it does disappoint people. Disappointed me, trust me. But no, no, we're going to pick off right here. You know what, maybe I will settle over here, because regardless of the city-states being so close to each other, if I settle down right here next to the iron and Mount Sinai, I could probably swing down, grab the wheat, like buy the tiles, and uh, that way there, I can still have some iron. So it would be a pretty productive city. Not the best, but at least it's something. So I think I'm going to do that now, actually. So the Composite Bowmans are being built still. We'll send the warrior over to Philadelphia. Actually, you know what? We'll send the warrior over to that place that we wanted. We'll add the settler here and the worker. Oh yeah, and I wasn't really taking names for cities, but I thought this was pretty clever. Atlanta is Island. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you get that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I changed the name of that, which is pretty cool. Now I don't know why I was going to Compass. But I am going to switch to education because it is mostly science, and if we want to, you know, go down the science route, I think doing that is definitely worth my while. And then we'll possibly come back up here for the harbor. Yeah. Chichen Itza has been built in a faraway land. That is perfectly okay. Sure. Yeah, why not? Open borders for everyone. Except I still can't get over there to investigate Honolulu. Oh! Yes, hello, Genghis. I'm just gonna act surprised like I've never met these guys before. I know I played a whole session, but just pretend like I haven't met these guys anymore, alright? Yeah, I, I, I really do feel bad. Because I should have checked if everything was, you know, working beforehand. But, hey, things happen. Uh, Pakal is a threat to the stability of the world. I do not think so, and uh, I do not want to arrange myself with your aggressive behavior as a viking. I have no interest. Okay, yes, the warrior. We're going to send you on over here. Yeah, I think that's where we're going to settle down right there. It'd be pretty pointless to settle up in here because then we'd have to buy our, our way all the way to the iron. And really, the only reason that I really want to come over here is the iron. Mount Sinai and the wheat are just add-ons, so... We really want that iron as quick as possible. Hey, uh, no. No, that's all of my money. I'm not giving that to you. Not at all. We are unhappy, though. So, let me quickly take a look here and see what we can do. We have a work boat, which is not really going to help us with happiness. How much would it cost to buy the Colosseum? 500. And we have that. Okay. If we buy this, it'll give us plus two happiness, so we'll be at one happiness. It's not really going to help us. Is there any other buildings that I can try to get happiness from? Oh, wait. Circus Maximus. Uh, must have built a Colosseum in... Oh, and Atlanta is, is the only one that doesn't have it. Okay, yeah, we can definitely work out something here. So let's purchase the Colosseum. And right after the worker, I will put in the Circus Maximus. There we go. Cool. It's going to take a long time to build, but we should be okay. Oh, and the sugar! I forgot about the sugar. Yeah, the sugar is done now, so we get five happiness. Well, we got four, but uh, 
comes to a total of five. We're going to work on the horses now. Now, the next policy is going to be in seven turns. What I did the last time was go for Collective Rule, which got me a free Settler, but I want to settle there a little bit faster. So, um, we don't really need the Settler anymore. It would be good to get a great person. We can get a great profit. So, I don't know really what I'm going to do. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, though. All right, Settler. Head on over. Atlanta is, has grown! Congratulations! Yeah, that's what, that's what happened to Atlantis. It grew, and then it fell in very crazy natural disaster. Um, hopefully that won't happen to Atlantis. Three things are necessary for the salvation of man. To know what he ought to believe, to know what he ought to desire, and to know what he ought to do. Okay, cool. We got the Great Mosque of Dijen, the Hagia Sophia, and a garden. These all relate to... Uh, you know, producing more output for great people. So, oh, and we met Hanoi. Hello there. You're militaristic, so I definitely want you to be my ally. So we can, uh, you know, you can give me some military units. That'd be perfect. Buddhism's religion was enhanced. Well, that's great for you. Hopefully they didn't take anything that we want. And the Vatican, oh, oh, a great merchant. Awesome. Okay, cool. Well, oh, Coco Chanel, <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, um, why don't you head on over to Hanoi, we'll get some influence with them. Coco Chanel, oh my god. Another militaristic city-state, Almaty, hello there, where are you? I don't think that's you, that is. Okay, cool. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Almaty is in Kazakhstan, and I think it's got some old Soviet buildings inside of it. If that's the right city that I'm thinking of. They seek cultural guidance. Whoever can produce the most culture in a period of 30 turns will gain influence with them. Well, I don't know if that's going to be me. But we'll find out. Go over here and build a farm? Sure, yeah. We'll get the food production a little higher in the city. People with the pointy sticks. Genghis Khan is in the lead. Oh my. Okay. And we have one unmet player that's doing terrible. Hopefully that's England, um, <laughs> but England could be the one that's higher too, so who knows? Genoa wants Doomsday. Okay. Oh, and Mount Kailash. Awesome. Okay, natural wonder. Uh, discovery of Mount Kailash has increased happiness in the Empire. Really? Just by discovering it? Were we the first? Gain two happiness if it's within your borders, and uh, the output is six faith. And Quebec City. Cool. Where is Mount Kailash? Oh. Quebec City has it. Well, outside of its borders. That is a pretty cool mountain. Awesome. Okay, and we can adopt another policy here. Now, like I said before, it would be good to get that great person, but I do not need a settler right now. Although we could probably find a place for it to go because I don't think there's anything else that would be worthwhile right now. I mean, we could adopt Commerce, but... No, I'm going to do this. I'm going to finish Liberty off. Yeah. Cool. Now the Settler can just sit tight in Philadelphia. Great Prophet! Hello! I do think the Great Prophet should have names. I mean, even if there's hundreds of Great Prophets in a single game, there's still plenty of names that can be thrown around with these guys. So it is rather disappointing. Either way, let's enhance our religion. Second follower belief. So the only one that I see in here that would really help us out is Religious Center. Temples provide plus two happiness in cities with five followers. Now while, even though it isn't the best, the best has been taken. So there's not much I can do. And using faith to purchase pre-industrial land units, that's okay, but I'm not even producing that much faith for that to be worthwhile before we hit the industrial era, so I'm gonna go with religious center. At least that way there we can take it to the future era. Enhance a belief. Itinerant preachers? It spreads the cities 30% further away. Or religious text. Religion spreads 34% faster and 68% faster with printing press. I think I'm gonna choose religious texts. Yeah, 
let's spread things faster. And enhance our doomsday religion. Awesome. All right, I'm actually going to ask uh, Deadmark for open borders so we can kind of scout out this area around here. I don't think we have open borders yet. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Why don't you build a temple? We need to get our faith production up higher. Oh! Yes! You're actually offering money for one of my luxury resources. Absolutely, I will accept. Maybe this is how you present your trade agreements to me in the future? Yes, thank you. Our seller is almost there. Bacala's completed Anger Watt. Uh, I don't even think I can build that yet. No, I can't. It's an education. Yerevan? What is that? Okay, so it looks like it's Middle Eastern. Cool. Never heard of it, though. It's cultured. Yeah, so as I was saying, so he did build uh, Anger Watt, and while he does have education and I don't, even though I'm still in the lead, um, you would think that you would feel a little bit behind. But the thing is, is that when we get into the Renaissance era, no matter who gets into the Renaissance era, I'm going to get a spy. And when I have that spy, I can place it in different cities around the world, in different civilizations, and steal technology. But if I had all the technology that they had, it'd be pretty much useless, you know? So I'm actually glad that they have text that I don't. I know it seems kind of productive, but that's the way I feel about it. Nice to meet you. Where are you? Right there. Okay, not too far away. Maya is protecting Rio, okay. And the Mayans are the allies of Hanoi. Well, that would change very fast. Trust me. I think they're going to get mad at me real quick here. Because I'm trespassing in their lands. Quebec City is under attack. Yeah, look at... Their, uh, their archers just kind of moved a little bit. Don't mind me, just passing through your city. How much longer do we have on the... Oh, four turns. All right, yeah, we're good. Oh, maybe not. How did that happen? God damn it, Philadelphia. Why are you starving? What are you working? You're not even working the fish. You're not even trying to make yourself food. What? No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? Wittenberg! I s I am gonna kill you. I swear to god I'm gonna kill you. <sighs> I was right goddamn there. You have got to be kidding me right now. Rage quit. Oh boy. I don't even know what I'm gonna do now. Because you can't take tiles away from anybody anymore. I guess the only thing I can do is just ally with Wittenberg. That sucks so bad. <sighs> oh boy. Hey! I think I see England. I guess go back home, guys. There's, there's nothing I can do right now. Alright, where's my trireme? Because I need to figure out a place to settle. We did circumnavigate the globe, it looks like. But somebody must have done it before us. Education is the best provision for old age. Cool. Now we can build universities. You know what? Just buy a fishing boat. There we go. Next turn, I'll have you producing fish. God, a bunch of crybabies. Alright, why don't you come back home? And, uh, we'll figure out some place for you to go. William's become a nuisance. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, I already know who the aggressors are in this world, and I do not have any interest. Sorry. A spy has been recruited. Genghis Khan has entered the Renaissance era. Awesome. Okay. Now the fun begins. Okay, I'm just gonna manually tell them to, to work on the fish, because I don't understand why they're not. They're not even trying to help themselves with this whole food situation. So, I'm just gonna lock that in right now, and later on I'll fix it. And it looks like I can purchase a unit. That usually means I can purchase a missionary. Yes. Because uh, New York, Boston, and Atlanta is need it, so... Definitely- Oh, cousin! Hello, cousin! <laughs> We're going to move you to Mongolia? Yeah, let's go to Mongolia. He entered the Renaissance era. I want to take that tech away from him. University. Okay, so after Compass, I think I want to come down in here. Or do I want to embark on oceans? You know, I'll go through astronomy and then I'll come down here to gunpowder. 
That's going to be a long trek, but at that point, these will take, like, nothing at all, because we'll have universities and stuff. Hanoi seeks investors. Okay, that'll help us out a lot. And it looks like, yes, okay, so Circus Maximus was built. And actually, what's going to help us a little bit more is actually this missionary. Because we get happiness. Yeah, look, we got two from that one. And if we bring it over to uh, New York, it's going to be much better. Hello, Hanoi. How about 500 gold? We're friends? Eh, it's okay. We'll pledge to protect you. And our merchant will hopefully fix the ally situation. Okay, so what was once a huge continent that I thought was um, linking the Mayans to Denmark, and it's two separate islands. But the Mayans have a very small island, and that's probably why they're doing, you know, poorly in that sense. There we go. Spreading it to New York. The real holy city for Doomsday. And that gives us two more happiness. Oh, and Atlanta is... Cool. Alright. Our empire is now full doomsday. Separation of church and state my buttocks. <laughs> this world can be cruel, but I don't know if I should declare friendship with a crusader. Okay, I will. Ah, okay. <laughs> You're on good terms too. So, the two aggressors are working together. <sighs> Never saw that coming. Hanoi and the Mayans no longer allies. Cool. So they're no longer allies. Oh, he doesn't even have an ally. Well, now he does. Awesome, and we got 500 gold too. So that actually pays me back for befriending Hanoi, which is awesome. University. Everybody, build a university. Yes, 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 yes. Sure, sure. I do want to figure out who this is, the civilization, so I will send, um, somebody over there. Recruit Cousin uncovered that Genghis Khan is building up an army to sneak attack another civilization. Oh, boy. Well, hopefully it's not me. Wittenberg wants Doomsday. Of course. Well, since we're going to be allying you, too... I suppose we can send it over soon. 17 turns and we'll get to steal a technology. Hopefully he doesn't have a spy in there. Because that would suck, losing my spy this early. <laughs> yes, I will allow a research agreement between our two civilizations. Let us both prosper. Oh, really? Sure, yeah. Shouldn't be helping them out, but whatever. It's okay. I find the great thing in this world is not so much where we stand, as in what direction we are moving. I don't seem to use the Galias. It is a ranged unit, but I don't know if we'll ever get to that before we hit the next ship, which is the Caraval, I think. Uh, a harbor, which is very good for islands like Atlanta is. And fishing boat gold improved. That's also very good. It looks like there's an island right here with ivory, cows, oh, looks like we might have another city location, which is good, because we have two settlers now, wasting up our gold maintenance. No, 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 not happening. Oh, I thought that was a little bit bigger. It's alright. I mean, iron's over there. See, I don't like settling in the tundra, but... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I put my city down on this tundra right here, I would collect six iron. I would have this stone, this fish, and this iron, and this stone, and this hill. No, that's a good location right there. I can have one city right here, and then one city on this island. Done deal. Let's do it. I'm glad that's sorted out. Let's just check up on this. We are still doing good with literacy, which is what we wanted. I don't know if I have something that you have in your heart. No, why am I paying you for your reason? No, no. What? That's not even a fair trade at all. Another university. Okay, yeah. Looks like we're creating an alliance here. 
the average for literacy is 28, which isn't far off from my 31%. So, I'm going to need to really boost my science and get way ahead of them. Looks like uh, Denmark has stolen the soldier count. Well, as long as they're our ally, I'm not too worried about it. But they could backstab me. That's happened before. Whoa, we are losing happiness like crazy right now. What can we build? Oh, a circus? Yeah, we can do that. Right after the market. If I build another city, it's not going to be helpful at all. We're not getting pearls from Hanoi. I think we... Yeah, we should. If a player becomes an ally, which I am, I get the resources. But it's not counting towards my happiness. What is this witchcraft? Oh, it's not improved. Okay, yeah. Let's give him 200 gold to improve. Yes! There we go. We've never successfully used that feature, but that is pretty cool. That definitely boosts our happiness up a lot. Denmark has denounced the Mayans. Uh-oh. Oh. Well, uh, this is interesting. He's mad at me. Very well. Stepping on the wrong foot. I'm sorry. I have become friends with Denmark. Yes. Yes, I know. Could you stop prompting me? I understand. You guys are friends. <laughs> I need iron. You are currently using more iron than you have. Wait a minute, what? I'm not using any iron. With what? What am I using iron with? Uh-oh. I know he just gave me a legion. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm very thankful. But, uh... <laughs> you kind of screwed me there. That's okay. We'll, we'll be getting iron very shortly. Okay, just sit tight in Atlanta, is then. Alhambra has been built in a faraway land. Hmm. Good for them. Oh, and Machu Picchu. That's something I did want. Oh, no. Okay. Polynesia has taken the literacy count. God damn it, Polynesia. We're coming for you. That's okay. We're building tons of universities right now. So, we should quickly, hopefully, get that back. No! I am not going to declare war on the Mayans. Atlanta? Okay, so changing the name of Atlanta down here has prompted a new Atlanta to be found. And I kind of want to keep it only because I want my other cities to be named generic things. So I'll keep it until I'm pretty much slowing down my expansion and then I'll change it to something else. Very quickly I have to choose to build a Coliseum because uh, I need to get my happiness back. I guess we'll build a harbor in Washington. The stoneworks building gives us uh, one happiness. Definitely gonna build that. There you are. The pious. We are pleased to meet you. I figured that much. Except my embassy. Would you be interested in a trade agreement? I don't want to find. Ah, yeah. And London has Buddhism again. Wow, that is interesting. Last game she had Buddhism too. Alright, moment of truth. Is she the one that's failing? Miserably? Or is she doing very well? Ah! So she is the one that's on the bottom of the totem pole for soldiers. Which is perfectly fine by me. Okay, our islands are very close to each other. <laughs> very close to each other. Mm, no. Yes. No. Yes? You're... No. No. I don't want to help you. Ah, Sydney. Hello. You're right there, huh? You've got spices. Okay, that's another luxury. Why don't you build a temple? Yeah, build a temple for now. We'll hook up this iron in Atlanta. Alright, this ship has been trapped in here for a long time. It's the Mayan ship, and it doesn't have open borders. That's why it can't escape. <laughs> World's most progressive people. Social po Oh, Elizabeth. Okay, at least she's not in the lead for science. I gotta battle Polynesia with that. But I'm not too worried about Polynesia. Okay, I'm not holding any title anymore. Not bad. We're still in good shape. Six turns till we can steal a technology. Three turns till we gain a technology. And then after that, we got three turns. So we're going to be gaining technologies like crazy in just a few turns. So, I mean, I'm not really worried about falling a percentage behind at all. 
Uh oh. Denmark declared war on Mayans. That's not good. Boston, you need some walls. Yeah, definitely. Now, I won't build this next city until I can get a little bit more happiness. Oh, no. Don't ask me that. Do not ask me that question, because if I say yes, then Denmark will be like, Hey, what's going on? Why are you doing that? But you know what? I'll take that risk. I like you. No. Oh. What say do you have in anything, William? Huh? You are the last person that I am worried about. You will pay for this in time. The Netherlands have denounced Denmark. <laughs> what just happened? Mongolia just came out on top. 35%? How did they get that many... I don't understand that. We're going to be gaining astronomy in just one turn, and four turns we'll be stealing from Mongolia. That, that's weird. <gasps> no, 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 no! No! You bitch! This is why I hate you! This is why I hate you, Elizabeth. You do stupid shit like this. Ugh! Good God, you need to die. I... No. Alright, Atlanta. You will be buying the Colosseum, thank you very much. And then work on a monument. Joyfully to the breeze, Royal Odysseus spread his sail. And with his rudder, skillfully he steered. That's right, okay. We got a caravel, observatory, faster embark movement, and allows embarkation over... Do you not know, my ocean. son, with what little understanding the world is ruled? Sure, now we're in the Renaissance era. What are our standings now? We're at 32%? He's at 36! God, he's gaining speed! What the hell? Alright, found this city. We're gonna punch it. Chicago! Now we're in... Goddamn unhappiness. Coliseum, now. Do it. Your city converted. You stupid bitch! I'm gonna kill you! You literally need to start running, because I am going to... Declare war on you right now. Instrumental or mechanical science is the noblest and above all the others the most useful. We get the Great Wall, which is already built in Polynesia, the aqueduct, a fort, and bridges over rivers. It's gonna take 300 bait. You stupid bitch. Alright, we're getting up there. 34%. You know what? She's got the least amount of soldiers. I'm gonna do this. I'm declaring war. And who says religion doesn't cause wars? Yes. We shall never surrender. <laughs> well, I know that for a fact, but you'll never win either. Uh, actually, you already did win. Well, no, technically, I just left the game, and you didn't win shit. How's that? Build a university. That's walls. I wanted a university. Oh, that gets me so mad that she just did that. Uh, he's playing against someone else. He, oh, he embarked to the Dutch, Amsterdam. And, uh, cousin has been promoted. Oh, looks like, uh, I can steal a technology. Chivalry or metal? Well, obviously chivalry. Metal casting I'm gonna get in one turn. Whoso pulleth out the sword of this stone and anvil is rightwise king born of all England. Okay, cool. Now that I've seen what he's got to offer, I'm going to move from Mongolia to Honolulu. The only technology that I could take of his is metal casting, so staying there would really not help me. And what can we get? Should we adopt a new policy or try to go into piety? Okay. We can actually go straight into a golden age, which might help us with our happiness, which is good, so let's do that. Okay, didn't do anything. I thought wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's kill this guy. Goodbye. Okay, so hopefully very shortly we can, uh, bring a missionary over to New York. When pieces of bronze or gold or iron break, the metalsmith welds them together again in the fire, and the bond is established. Okay, metal casting. Cool. Take us five turns to get to, uh, physics. But, let's see. Really quick. Demographics. We are still 2% behind him. 
What can we do to make that go faster? Whoa, temple. Provides happiness. Duh. Okay. Let's go back here. Push the temple to the beginning. We're gonna push the shrine forward after the circus. Then we'll build a temple in Atlantis. Philadelphia has no temple. Really? Okay. That's the next thing you're building. Actually, you know what? Build that first. If we're gonna beat Mongolia, we're gonna have to... Yes, sure. We're gonna have to push it. Like, really push it. And that's what I'm willing to do. But I think I'm gonna call it, guys. This has been very eventful, I suppose. Um, we declared war on England, which can't do anything right now. Because she probably doesn't even have astronomy to get to us. It'll probably take her a long time to get down here. So I'm not too worried about her attacking. She doesn't have a big army anyways. So maybe next episode we'll go in and raid London for what it's worth. Which is probably nothing. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.